Okay, so uh, my name is James Akoy, and uh, the former Secretary General of the Liberian Community out here at Waterloo, uh, Cedar Falls. And, and we, we were there, you know, working for the community and trying to see how well uh, we can promote our community and trying to sell the image of the community, I mean, to, to others, you know, to, to, to serve as a light, and, you know, telling, and, you know, explaining the story of, of Waterloo, you know. I mean, some of the good things that are happening in the Waterloo, like you just heard, the story of, of Princess Koma and, and, and trust me, that's a story definitely we should, we should be running with, a story that we should be able to explain in, in a manner that would that sing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing here today on a graduation. Tell me what? Yeah, so the graduation has, it's a brother who, you know, is graduated in Afro Konawa, walks out of, 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 of a, a UNI, the University of Northern Iowa. And what I understand is that he did political science. And Konawa is, is, is someone with, with Huge energy, and we can we can credit that to his belt. And you know, we are very much excited, and you know, very much blissful and exuberant, and and, 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 and elated. And when it comes to his own achievement, and we can only encourage others to to, to follow, and, you know, to pursue. I mean, that which I mean, and Konowa did when it comes to illuminating his mind, when it comes to enriching himself and, and preparing himself for a better future. And you know, there's a there's there's a way people put it, you know, so it's, it's always better to, to work smart. And the best way to work smart is to have something up there in the Konkina. Yep. Okay, uh, seeing Avery Konoa as a Liberian, a family man, coming to the U.S., uh, going through all of the challenges, but it, it didn't stop him, he decided to go to school. Yeah. And we have some Liberians that are kind of reluctant because of the kind of challenge or challenges they go through, they don't want to further themselves. You know, or develop themselves. What do you have to say to them? Yeah, so you see, and I, I, I leave it with the words of former U.S. President Barack Obama. You know, there is no reason why we cannot try. There is no reason why you will not exert that energy, and, you know, to 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 improve yourself. And what I can say is that don't get weak and don't get tired. I mean, it, it's difficult, very challenging, but you can always make a push. You can always make a try to see how well I mean, you can be able to, to, to improve your, you know, your, your skills and yourself or so. It's never too late. It is never too late to add value to your own life. It is never too late to begin doing those things that I know that will see you on, on the crest of the wave. You know, it's never too late. And to begin do, doing those things, you know, and that will and set you aside, you know, for many others, you know, the rest of it. So yes, it's difficult, it's challenging, it's very high, but you can always make it. You can always make a try. And you know, you, 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 you can cut down, and, you know, the, the, the sleeping time and the rest of it, if it means cutting maybe the hours, somebody will say, oh yes, I'm going to reduce it and how am I going to pay my bill? And that's the trick of the entire thing. Because you have to pay the bills, you have to do other things, catering to families back in, 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 in Africa and your own families here. And this, there where you have to strike a balance between those, those, you know, those, those difficult pathways. I mean, it's a difficult thing. Like some of us here, we still find ourselves trying to see how we can learn one or two things. I mean, at community colleges, it's hard, very challenging. Sometimes somebody will say, oh yeah, schools in America, it's not hard, but I know it. <laughs> you know it now, eh, Clarence, you know it's not easy. You, I mean, you be pounded with, with, with tons of assignments and you have to complete your assignments real on time. And you, you have to score better grades and, and to continue on, you know. So it's not easy, it's hard, it's very challenging, but you can always give it a try and, and give it a try definitely and you, you can do better. Yeah. Can do better. Yeah. Uh, that's the word from the former Secretary General of the Liberian Association in Rotterdam and Cedar Falls. Yeah, the uh, former Secretary General Emeritus. Yeah, and this is the former Secretary General Emeritus of the Liberian Association in <laughs> Waterloo Cedar Falls. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so tell me, uh, <laughs> today, and uh, we got another few weeks again, we're going to have a few weeks, a few days, we're going to have another graduation and another librarian going to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. But tell me, how does 
that make you feel senior Liberian graduating in the U.S. A lot of what we're going through, but yes, we're still trying to better ourselves when it comes to education. Yeah, it, it makes me feel blissful. You know, it, it, it makes me feel, I mean, very happy, very glad that we can be able to 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 add values to ourselves. To I mean, to, to be career minded. You know, having a career or so, because we're really not going to live in America for the rest of our lives. One day there will be a time when we will be able to move back. So we're talking about transfer of skill, transfer of, the, of technology. I mean, that's how, you know, I believe that we can be able to, 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 to solve some of the uh, intriguing problems and challenges back, you know, in our country by educating your mind, by informing your mind, by doing those things definitely that will and, and see you going on a path, you know, towards improving yourself. You know, one educated man defined this one point in time. An educated person is one who is able to get whatever he wants or whatever she wants without violating the rights of others. So when we are educated enough, then we tend to do those things that will not violate the rights of others. So Clarence definitely has been a great and wonderful interview out here at the homes of the, of the Konoa, where today he's walking out of, of college and doing political science. Yes, we, we, we need more political scientists in our country. It, it, when, you, when you look at capital building, and when you, when you look at activities and issues there, when you look at uh, how our countries, definitely things are unfolding back in our country, it calls for more political minds. It calls for more individuals to be engaged in, in the study of political science, I mean, in the study of sociology, I mean, in, in other advanced studies, so that we can be able to, to take our country from one path and, you know, to, a, to another. I mean, those that you call big countries around the world today that are improving, they are only getting there on the basis of education. So we too can get there on how you know, we refresh our mind, on how we, we sing those good things to our heart, and so that we can always be able to do things better. Okay. Uh, any, any last message? Yeah, okay, final message again to Liberians out here, Waterloo, Cedar Falls, and the rest of it across the U.S. And things may be very much challenging, difficult, the rest of it. But try to do that which at least you can be able to do. And, you know, educate your mind. Do challenging things, and I will encourage people to go for the sciences, to go for the higher sciences, because that's what Liberia definitely needs. I'm not saying people doing sociology and political science are not important. No, but what Liberia needs so quick and fast, I mean, individuals in the sciences, in the higher sciences, engineering, and, and you know, and that's how you know we can be. We, we want more roads to be constructed. We want bridges to be built. And we want things happening in the country that we are to infrastructure development, sustaining games, you know, and across the country. And, and, and that's how I believe definitely we can be able to, to move our country forward. We can be able to answer some of, of, the, of, of the many questions of, of, of development or underdevelopment in our country and trying to achieve greater heights. Thank you so much. I know. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you.